In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to our video version of worship for this, the fourth Sunday of Lent. And today on the fourth Sunday of Lent, we celebrate Mothering Sunday as well. So we give thanks today for um, mothers and for our spiritual mother, who is the church. That's the kind of idea of Mothering Sunday originally, was that we, we were thankful for the church who mothers us in our spiritual journey. Um, but it's kind of got morphed into a celebration of motherhood and mothers, and I guess that's not a bad thing because mothers are important people. Uh, so we give thanks for them today as well. We are going to, well, and I guess we think a little bit about what we learn from um, human parenthood about the love of God um, for us and what what we in the church can learn about nurture and care. So we're going to turn to prayer and we're going to come before God, seeking God's healing and forgiveness, God's assurance of forgiveness when we confess our sins. We are called to a life of compassion and kindness, but we are angry or unjust. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We are called to forgive others as we have been forgiven, but we are judgmental and unbending. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We are called to live with gratitude in our hearts, but we are selfish and unsatisfied. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our prayer for today, for Mothering Son. Let us pray. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now our reading from the Bible. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ dwell in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful, let the word of, word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and demolish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So today is Mothering Sunday and it's a great day of celebration in the church, but it's a day that is fraught with difficulties. If you're at home celebrating uh, with your mum, uh, that's great if you're taking your mum out as a treat that's great if you've got a good relationship with your mum something to celebrate is great but of course for many people Mothering Sunday is more difficult if you've had a loving mother who has sadly died it's a day of kind of missing your mum uh, if you've got a really difficult relationship with your mum uh, it kind of brings all that a bit to the surface. Um, if you're someone who's wanted to be a mum and never been able to be, it kind of can bring that pain uh, to bear, you know, to make you very aware of, of that, that uh, lack, that loss, if you like. 
Um, so Mothering Sunday can be quite a tricky day. Of course, it isn't actually, for the church, we don't talk about Mother's Day, but we talk about Mothering Sunday. And originally, Mothering Sunday was not about our earthly mums. It was about our mother church. It was to a day when traditionally people would go back to the mother church that where they had been baptised. So for me, I um, ought to be perhaps going back to All Saints Crowborough, where I was baptised. And uh, it was a day to celebrate the church that was kind of our mother. So it was like the, the local church where we had grown up, but also the church that looks after us and nurtures us uh, in our faith. So there's all sorts of things to think about for Mothering Sunday. And uh, I could probably cover lots of them in this little sermon, uh, but I'll try to keep it fairly succinct. Uh, what I want to suggest today is that uh, on Mothering Sunday, we might like to think about the church that nurtures us and how, how the church does nurture us, but we might also want to think something about how we learn from those who care for us and learn something about God and, some, uh, uh, and respond in thanks to those people who do nurture and care for us. So in our readings today, we have, we have different readings. Uh, we've got uh, that reading that uh, Graham has read for us from Colossians, talks about clothing yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another. It's about looking after other people, taking care of people. And as we think about Mother's Day, we think about the way in which so many mothers do take care of and look after their children. Motherhood at its best is about nurture, care and support and allowing uh, children to grow up but also being there for them. And so I suppose uh, what Colossians is saying is, is something of let's learn from the best care that we have, whether it might be a mother or a father or somebody else. Let's think about the way in which we have been nurtured and cared for and try to be that for other people. And then a gospel reading is... Uh, Jesus on the cross, looking forward to Good Friday. And Jesus is sadly dying on the cross. But nearby are um, his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. And when Jesus sees them um, there, as he's dying, as he's in his agony on the cross, he says uh, to his mum, woman, here is your son of John. And he says to John, here is your mother. He's asking them to take care of each other. And I suppose as we think about Mother Church, we are challenged to think, are we a church that looks after people? Do we care and support and nurture other people? Could Jesus be saying to us, be uh, a mother to them, be a son to them, be a, a carer to them? And so Mothering Sunday is about us learning something about what God is like, God as a God of love and compassion, reaching out to us. It's about God saying to us, learn from the best. Learn, look, if you've got bad relationships with some of your family, don't worry about that. But look to the best examples you can of care and compassion and support. And think, this is what God offers to us and what God is calling us to offer to one another. Can we be in our church, nurturing and caring for 
those who come to us. Amen. And now Lorna leads us in our prayers. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Let us pray. Let us give thanks for the mothers who have given us life and for all those who nurtured us when we were young. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the whole world, that conflict and violence may cease, and that peacemakers and peace builders may find fresh hope and inspiration. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who sit with people who are sick or dying, that they may know God's strength and courage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are in need, for those who suffer physical or mental distress, for all who are anxious or lonely that they may find the peace they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray that our churches may be places of welcome and compassion, that all who enter may experience the life and love of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, loving Mother, gentle Father, hear the prayers of your children and grant that this day we may know your presence in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We're coming towards an end of our service today and we're going to finish with David Hillary singing Take My Life, Lord, a lovely Margaret Ritzer hymn. Uh, before we do, a prayer of blessing. And just a reminder before, the, before that, that you're welcome to get in touch with us and, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Do come along to church if you get a chance and do, do interact with us. A prayer of blessing. Blessing and laughter and loving be yours, the love of a great God who names you and holds you while the earth turns and the flowers grow. This day, this night, this moment, and forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Oh, do you love
Keep my heart ever open to others. May my time not be spent with those in need. May I attend to those.